Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, I'll show you how to on your Android device. As you can see here, this is the um, S22 Ultra. It doesn't really matter which Samsung it is. It can be an Ultra, it can be just a regular Samsung, as long as you're on the latest update. Now this is um, running Android 13. Um, and of course, this that's the latest update of, as of the time of making this video. All right, so I'm going to show you to remove the background from a photo. So let's say, for example, I'm going to use my um, trusted plants here. So, of course, if I take, let's say, two of these plants and I take a photo of said two plants and I'm going to um, launch the camera over here and I'm just going to have these two. As you can see, we have a background with all of these stuff in it. The... Um, what do you call it over there? The um, other plans, we have that monitor stand in the background. I'm going to snap a photo. As you can see, I've just snapped the photo. And if I open the photo, let's say, for example, you wanted this with the background removed and just the two plants that are in the foreground and remove the entirety of the background. That can be great for um, using other apps. or Of course, it can be used in other ways as well. But if you want to remove the entirety of the background, it's quite easy on the latest update of um, Android so just simply follow along so since this has to do with editing a photo it can be done from your phone you do not need any third party software and it's a great addition so go to edit which is a pencil icon once you go to the edit screen you'll see everything that is here you're going to tap this circle that's shown here with those um, broken lines tap once you're here it says draw an area you want around the shape so I'm going to do that right now so I'm going to use my finger and as best as possible, I'm going to draw around the shape that I want or around the object that I want. And what I like is that it adjusts itself and it intelligently pins itself to the background. Now, if the background has a lot of distracting stuff, it might be a little bit more different, but the software does do a good job, especially if the background is relatively plain. I'm going to do the same for my plant over here as best as I can. I could also use um, a stylus. All right, and as you see, it did a solid job again. Now look here, it says snap shape. I can select manually, which is a little bit more difficult, and I can deselect, mean remove a section that's snapped into the photo. So I did a very good job here. I have freeform and I have shape. I like freeform, so next I'm gonna hit next. And of course, it gives you some options here, which is very, very, very nice. And notice right over here it gives you the option that you can increase the border on each item meaning it will give that white border if you want depending on what you're doing with these photos you can increase or decrease i'm just going to leave this as normal you can also use a color for the background i think and of course you have the options here you can sample a color to use and so on all right um in this case i'm just going to leave the background as is I'm going to hit um, done. There you go. Notice now I have the option to revert or save. I'm going to hit save. And notice it's doing its thing. There you go. The background is done perfectly or very neatly. And you can see the photo now has a blank um, background. And note as well, the file is saved as a PNG, meaning that the background is transparent. If I add this onto another photo, in another um, photo editing app, the background should be transparent so whatever i place it on you'll see it shine through if i place this on top of another image the other image should appear in the background um, if that's what you're trying to achieve now of course this is done all by software that's built into your um, latest update of um, android which is android 13 as a part of the editor for your photos all right so i'm going to end the tutorial here if you have any direct questions you can ask them below it's ricardo saying bye until next time bye